the last topic under the cash and cash equivalents chapter. So this is proof of cash, but before we discuss proof of cash, let's let's have a quick recap first about bank reconciliation. So if you could remember, bank reconciliation, this is the process of adjusting your bank and book balances so that their balances will be equal. So you have to take note of your book reconciling items as well as your bank reconciling items. And then, diba, we have three methods uh, wherein we could adjust your cash or your bank and book balances. So the most frequently used method is your adjusted balance method wherein you simultaneously adjust your book balance and your bank balance. So in your book balance, your unadjusted book balance will be increased by credit memos such as um, collections of the bank on behalf of the company or kanang mga loan proceeds or uh, matured time deposits. So these are examples of your credit memos which is a bank, uh, I mean a book reconciling item and that is added to your unadjusted book balance. And then, Another book reconciling item are your debit memos. So, debit memos, these are um, decreases in your bank balance which are not yet recorded in your book balance. So, debit memos. Example of debit memos, we have your NSF checks, your bank service charges, your interest expenses, and etc. So, after that, after adding your credit memos and deducting your debit memos, we get your adjusted book balance. On the other hand, in your bank balance, your bank reconciling items are your deposits in transit. So these are undeposited cash collections, mga cash on hand or kanang mga cash deposits that are kanang late na ni mo siya na deposit and then wala na siya ni reflect in your bank statement. And then we also have your outstanding checks. So again, outstanding checks, these are checks already drawn from your um deducted already from your book balance but for some reason your payee has not yet presented the check for payment from the bank. So si bank since wala pa may um, a check has not yet been presented for encashment, so of course, they will not yet deduct your bank balance. So, in adjusting or in reconciling in your bank reconciliation, outstanding checks must be deducted from your unadjusted bank balance. So, unadjusted bank balance plus your deposits in transit minus your outstanding checks you will have your adjusted bank balance. So why am I um why am I recapping this topic? Ma'am nganong balik man ta aning and how man tag midterm. So it's essential or it's important that you still remember how to do bank reconciliation because in proof of cash or let's uh proof of cash is simply a two date bank reconciliation. So, proof of cash is still a bank reconciliation. But, ang kalahian lang is that, di ba sa bank reconciliation, we only deal with uh, one month na transaction. So, usa siya ka month. Your, um, for example, kanang May, only for the month of May na transactions. So, deposits in transit for the month of May, Outstanding checks for the month of May, um, your unadjusted balances for the month of May, your adjusted balance for the month of May. Yana. So, one month rasha. But when you say proof of cash, it already involves two dates or two months. So, ma'am, kanang sa may difference nila na one month raman ng bank reconciliation unya na himong two months ang proof of cash. So actually, wala yun siya like big difference. 
because the procedures in making a one-month bank reconciliation is just similar kung maghi mo na kag two-date bank reconciliation or proof of cash. Naalay mga additional columns na madugang, which is for your receipts and disbursements, which we'll, we will discuss later on. So, uh, a wrong reconciliation, a bank reconciliation is actually, if given tanang data, diba, it's just easy to make kanang given si an adjusted balance, given ang book reconciling items, given tanang bank reconcil reconciling items. So, iplot ra ni mo siya sa um, template na to, and then, you could easily solve for your adjusted cash balance. So, maglisod ta uh, if one or two of the information that we need is wala. So, na ay blanco. So, for example, sa two-date bank reconciliation, it's possible nga wala tay book balance. Either the beginning or the ending. Or, wala tay bank balance. Um, wala tay amount for deposits in transit. Or, wala si outstanding checks. So, deposits in transit sa beginning niya nga balance or ending balance. Outstanding checks, beginning balance or ending balance. So, when I say beginning and ending balances here in this context, I am referring to the previous month balance and the current month balance. So, again, um, proof of cash, this involves a two-month bank reconciliation. So, since duha man ka month, na atay current month, so ang karon, and then we have a previous month, which is the, the last month before the current month. So, kana. so, when we say beginning balance, this is the ending balance of your previous month. And then when we say ending balance here, kaninga ending, this is the ending balance of your current month. So, dita maglibog ha na, nganong duha man ang ending balance? Asa man ang beginning, Ana? So, your beginning balance here is the ending balance of the previous month. Okay? And then, the ending here, ang pasabot, Ana, is the ending balance of your current month. Okay? So, going back, if there is kanang na ay isa ani nila nga missing, so, dili, mahuman atong world, Ana. So, there's a way to compute for omitted information. So, if na agani missing, uh, at least one of these items, you can still solve for that item. So, solvable siya using the other information um, given in the problem. So, unsa on na siya pag-solve? So, naatay um, formula. We have a formula. So, let's say, for example, wala si book balance. Either the beginning or the ending balance. So, book balance is missing. So, let's remember, kani, uh, how do we compute for your book balance? So, book balance, we start with your beginning balance, and then book debits minus book credits, and then you'll get your ending balance. So, re, uh, um, let's review lang our basic accounting knowledge. So, when you debit cash, so you debit cash whenever you receive cash, right? And then, you credit cash whenever you give away, whenever you um, spend cash, diba? So, in your books, in your ledger, your book debits, whatever you debit in your cash or whatever um, cash debits that you have, so that increases your cash. Maunang, it is added. On the other hand, your book credit, so whatever you credit in your cash in bank account, in your general ledger, so this is your disbursements, 
whatever you credit in your cash in bank account that is deducted from your cash in bank balance. Okay? So, beginning, onya plus debits, minus your credits, you get your ending balance. So, basic, no? Okay, we already know this from our FAR 100. Okay, since ang normal balance ni cash is debit man, so whenever there are book debits, book debits must be added. Onya, book credits are deducted. So, Another thing is that atong i-emphasize ni during the month. So, during the month, this pertains to your current month. Okay? So, your beginning balance here, this is the ending balance of the previous month. Plus, book debits of the current month minus book credits of the current month. You will get your ending book balance for the current month. Okay. So, ang previous month ra ani is si beginning ra. The rest is uh, pertains to your current month balance or transactions. Okay. Next. Okay na tani book balance. We go to your bank balance. So, how do we compute if your bank balance is missing? So, this is the T account of your deposit liability account. Diba? Um, we knew from the previous chapter that whenever we make deposits sa bank, si bank, in his point of view, Ang journal entry niya, di ba, is to debit cash and then credit a liability account. So, the liability account represents our deposit sa bank. So, that liability account is this one. Deposit liability and then the name of the company. So, since this is a liability account, the normal balance is credit. So, whenever we make deposit to the bank, the bank credits our account. Okay? Whenever we deposit to the bank, the bank credits our account. That's why your bank credits, your bank credits, so unsa di ayon siyang bank credits. So these are items credited to our account, the depositor's account, which includes Deposits acknowledged by the bank, so kanyang mga over-the-counter deposits na to, and your credit memos. So, kung sa ganit itong credit memos, these are collections on behalf of the company or kanang mga loan proceeds directly credited to our account or kanang matured time deposits credited directly to our account. So, those are credit memos. So, whenever there is an increase in our bank balance, that is a bank credit. That is called a bank credit. Okay? On the other hand, bank debits, so these are items that will decrease our bank balance. So, these are checks paid by the bank and debit memos. So, debit memos, again, includes NSF checks, um, bank service charges, or interest expense, or kanang automatic loan payment. So, those are some of your debit memos. So, your beginning balance, beginning of the month, so this pertains to the ending balance of the previous month, gihapon, and then bank credits during the current month so that is added and then deduct the bank debits during the current month you will get the bank balance for uh, the ending bank balance for the current month this is your t account if dili siya t account ingani ang formasa formula 
So, other name, by the way, other name for book debits. Sige, dili sa ta. Other name for bank credits. Uh, koan? Bank receipts. Pwede na siya. I, koan? Another name niya. Bank receipts. And then, bank debits. Another name uh, that could be used in problems is bank disbursement. Na. Bank receipts, bank credits, bank disbursements, bank debits. On the other hand, when you say book debits, it refers to book receipts. So, another name na po niya, book receipts, book debits. And then, book credits, another name is book disbursements. Okay? So, bali sila ha, book debits, book receipts. Book credits, book disbursements. Pero sa bank, bank credits, that is your bank receipts. And then, bank debits, that is your bank disbursements. So, bali. Okay. Bank credit receipt, book debit receipt. Bank debit disbursement, and then, Book credit, that is your book disbursement. So, I hope that's clear, ha? Ayaw mo ka confused, Anna, because um, some problems will be using book debits or some problems will be using book receipts. Okay? So, manata sa book balance, sa bank balance, we go to your deposits in transit. So, how do we compute for deposits in transit if daily siya given? So, this is the formula. Deposits in transit, beginning of the month, plus cash receipts deposited during the month. And then, minus deposits acknowledged by the bank during the month. After that, you get your Deposits in transit at the end of the current month. So, there is a deposits in transit. I have to emphasize that we are pertaining only to deposits. Okay? So, cash receipts deposited during the month. So, dapat katurang gi deposit sa bank. Katong gi over the counter. And then, Minus deposits acknowledged by the bank. So, deposits ra. Again, deposits katurang ni Agi over the counter. Meaning, why labot si credit memos. Okay? So, deposits only. Deposits in transit gani. So, you should only consider deposits made. Ayaw apila tong mga um, credit memos. Credit memos are excluded from deposits in transit. Same thing with your outstanding checks. So, outstanding checks beginning plus checks drawn during the month minus checks paid by the bank during the month and then you get your outstanding checks. So, outstanding checks we only um, pertain, this only pertains to checks, checks drawn. Why labot si debit memos? Okay? So, especially aning checks paid by the bank during the month, it's not all the time na ang given sa problem is diretso ang checks paid. It's possible na ang ihatag is bank disbursements. Onya appeal sa bank disbursements is ang checks paid onya na ay nasagol nga debit memos. So, you have to remove the debit memos because we only want to know how much or how much of the checks were paid by the bank. So, why labot si service charge, si NSF check, katurang mga checks paid, your cancelled checks, your certified checks. Katurang yun atong i-consider. Okay? 
So, what better way to practice what we have learned? So, naatay illustration. So, for the month of January and February, naakay information about your cash in bank ledger. So, balance January 31. So, this is the ending balance of the previous month. Okay, ang current month, month man na to is February. Tara, February. So, the balance on January 31, this is your beginning balance for February. Okay, that's 50,000. And then, book debits for February, 200. Book credits for February, 180. And then, for your bank statement, so this is the bank balance. Bank balance on January 31, we have 84. Bank credits for February, 170. And then bank debits for February, 130. So, do we have the ending balance for our book balance and our bank balance? Naabata. So, your ending balance here must be the last day of February. Na ah? Um, we don't have, right? Okay, naatay January 31. Naatay book debits, book credits, and then maora. We, we're not, we were not given information about the ending balance. The same thing with your banks. We're given with the beginning balance. Bank credits, bank debits, but we don't have an amount for your ending balance. So, muhunong na batani? No, we can compute for your ending balance. So, our formula is. Ah, okay, but before that, let's compute first. Or let's create first your January bank reconciliation. So on January 31, your cash per ledger or your cash per book is 50,000. So unadjusted book balance, 50,000. And then, what are our book reconciling items? Credit memo. Is this a book reconciling item? Yes. So, note collected of 15,000. So, dili si 200,000 ang credit memo ha. Your book debits. Book debits for February ang 200,000. Appeal ani sa 200,000 is your credit memo for January. So, di ba? Um, we make adjusting entries for our book reconciling items. So, most probably, your adjusting entry was made during February. Basin February 1, gibuhat ang adjusting entry. That's why, na ay na appeal na debit to cash that pertains to your note collection pag January. So, that is 15,000. So, credit memo for January, January note collection, 15,000. Okay, what are our other book reconciling items for the month of January? NSF check of 5,000 and service charge of 1,000 for January. So, this is a book reconciling item. These are debit memos. So, your debit memos, 5,000 and 1,000 for January. So, NSF check, 5,000, service charge, 1,000. Therefore, our adjusted book balance on January must be 59,000. How about our bank balance? Your bank balance is? 84,000. Okay. And then, what are our bank reconciling items? 
Credit memo. Is this a bank reconciling item? Delete, no? This is a book reconciling item. And then, January DIT, deposits in transit. Is this a bank reconciling item? Yes, deposits in transit are bank reconciling items. So, naakay January DIT of 40,000. Okay, 40,000. And then, NSF check. Is this a bank reconciling item? Dili. This is a debit memo. This is a book reconciling item. January OC, outstanding check of 65,000. This is a bank reconciling item. Okay. 65. So our adjusted balance must also be 59,000. So this is our January 31 bank reconciliation. Ma'am, nga nung wala man gi appeal si CM for note collected of 20,000 and si NSF check of 10,000. Nga ingon mang kaganina that it is a book reconciling item. So we did not or we do not include this 20,000 and 10,000 because what we are doing is the January bank reconciliation. Okay? January bank reconciliation. Unya, this credit memo of 20,000 and this NSF check of 10,000, this pertains to your February transaction. So, lahit na month. Delete siya for January. Ang for January raani is kaning adjustments na to in your cash in bank per ledger. Ani, January CM and your January NSF check and service charge. Mauna, kanirang tulo atong gi appeal sa January bank reconciliation. So, most probably, kani si CM for note collected of 20,000 and NSF check of 10,000, this will be used in your February bank reconciliation. Tanawa. Okay? Na as si February note collected 20,000 and your NSF check of 10,000. Kunya, na ay question mark because we don't have, again, we don't have any data about your ending cash balance per book and your ending cash balance per bank. So, mauna atong pangitaon. So, how do we look for uh, ano na? Ano naman okay. How do we look for this? Sige. To compute for your unadjusted book balance on February 28. So, diba we have a formula? This is our formula. Beginning plus your book debits minus book credits, you get the unadjusted book balance ending. So, unta di ay atong February book debits? Here, tara. Book debits for February, including January CM. Tara. 200,000. And then, our book credits is 180,000. Mauna niya itong beginning balance. So, simply, 50,000 plus 200 minus 180. And then, the answer to that will be our unadjusted book balance for February 28. Next, our unadjusted bank balance for February 28. So, the same thing, your unadjusted bank balance as of the end of January plus your bank credits minus your um, bank debits. This is bank debits. Na. 
bank debit. And then, the answer would be your unadjusted bank balance. So, going back, so 84 plus our bank credits of 170 minus our bank debits of 130, we will have 124. Tara. 124. So, our unadjusted book balance for the month of February must be 70,000 and our unadjusted bank balance for the month of February is 124,000. So, this amounts will be used in our February bank reconciliation. So, sa book balance na to, na atay 70, and then we have already identified our debit and credit memos for February. So, our adjusted book balance is 80,000. And then for our bank balances, our unadjusted bank balance is 124. And then, wala tay data about our February deposits in transit and our February outstanding check. So, let's go back to the problem. Ang naara is your January DIT and January OC. Wala tay data about February na DIT and February OC. But, again, we can compute for deposits in transit and outstanding checks. So, the formula, so let's go first to your deposits in transit. The formula is, we start with your previous month na DIT. So, in January, our DIT is 40,000. So, 40,000. And then, plus February receipts deposited. So, naabot ay data about February receipts deposited. What we have is your book debits. Debits ra. Book debits ra. But, Remember, nga appeal aning book debits na to is a credit memo. Is a credit memo a deposit in transit? Delete, no? Because credit memo, these are automatically added to your account. Wala ni siya like ni Agi o over the counter na deposit. This is not deposited by you. This is automatically um, increased or added to your account by the bank. Dili ikaw ang nag, um, nag deposit. Okay? So, this is not a deposit. This credit memo na 15,000, this is not a deposit. That's why, if imo na siyang i remove from your total book debits na 200, the remaining would be probably your deposits. Okay? So, your book debits of 200, kuhaan nato sa credit memo na 15,000, you will get your February deposits, which is 185,000. So, out of the 200,000 na imong gi debit sa libro, 15 is a credit memo. And the 185, the cash receipts of 185, mao ni imong gi deposit sa bank. Okay? So, deposits in transit, we only consider deposits made by the company or the business. Why labot ang credit memos? Okay? Sige, let's go to your deposits acknowledged by the bank. Naabatay deposits acknowledged by the bank? Wala. What we have are bank credits 
for February. So, bank credits, mao ni ang increases in your account. So, your account was increased by 170,000. Pero, appeal aning 170,000 is a credit memo of 20,000. Unya na ay deposits in transit pag January na 40,000. So again, in computing your deposits in transit, we only consider deposits made by the company. Ayaw apila si credit memo. Okay? So that's why if you are using bank debits of 170,000, I remove si credit memo of 20,000. Therefore, ang na-acknowledge ra ni bank na bank credits, by the way, this is bank credits. This is not debits, ha? This is bank credits. Ang bank credits ra nga na-acknowledge ni bank, ang deposits na acknowledge ni bank for the month of February, is only 150,000. So out of the 170 that was credited to your account, only 150 pertains to deposits made by the company. Okay? So beginning of 40 February receipts deposited minus deposits acknowledged by the bank your DIT for February is 75,000. Okay, let's compute for your outstanding checks for the month of February. Okay, we start first with your outstanding checks in January, which is 65,000. 65,000. And then, February checks drawn. So, we go to your book credits. So, your book credits of 180,000, this includes debit memos of 6,000. So, kani si NSF check and si service charge. So, again, when you compute for your outstanding checks, you should um, exclude debit memos because debit memos, these are not checks drawn by the company. Kinsa may gadraw di ay ani, kinsa di ay ang deduct ani. This is deducted by your bank. O niya, ang atong gipangita is katumang um, checks uh, made by the company na wala pa na acknowledge ni bank. Then, your debit memos, these are already acknowledged by the bank. So, naturally, wala siya labot in computing our outstanding checks. That's why we remove our debit memos from book credits and bank debits. So, our debit memo, so 5,000 plus 1,000, that is 6,000 for a total checks drawn of 174,000. And then for the checks acknowledged by the bank, that is your bank debits. Your total bank debits is 130,000, but this includes NSF check of 10,000. So again, NSF check is a debit memo, so we have to remove the debit memo. So 130 minus 10,000, we have 120. So, our outstanding checks for the month of February is 119,000. So, pwede na nato makumpleto si bank reconciliation for February. So, DIT of 75, OC of 119, your adjusted bank balance is also 80,000. So, it's the same as our adjusted book balance. So what we did earlier, 
that is a two date or a two month bank reconciliation okay gilahi man nato og compute ang reconciliation for january onya gilahi po nato og compute si reconciliation for february but if we were to combine those two months na onya dungano nato sila og reconcile then that would become a proof of cash. So, a proof of cash, this is an expanded reconciliation that includes proof of your cash receipts and cash disbursements. So, if katong example ganina, buhato na to siya og proof of cash, it will look like this. Ingani. So, we have your particulars here. And then, this column, kaning January, this is your January reconciliation. And then, the last column here, this is your February reconciliation. Kani, kaning first and fourth column, these are your bank reconciliations. O niya, unsa man ang nag connect nilang duha. So, what is the connection between these two months? So, you have your cash receipts and your cash disbursements column. So, later on when we discuss the um, proof of cash format, so, I will explain to you nga nung minus ni siya, nga nung add ni siya, etc. Okay? So, one thing to remember is that the second and the third columns, kani si cash receipts and then this si cash disbursements. So, this pertains to your current month, cash receipts, and cash disbursements. Okay? So, later. We will discuss more of this later. So, your proof of cash, so, naapod tay tuloka forms or tuloka methods in making proof of cash, just like your bank reconciliation. We have your adjusted balances method, book to bank, and your bank to book. So, the format is essentially the same when we say adjusted balance. Dungano na to ug adjust si book and si bank. When you say book to bank, so, Magunata ni unadjusted book, and then we adjust, and then we go to unadjusted bank. And then for bank to book, we start with your unadjusted bank, we adjust the balance, and then we go down to your unadjusted book balance. So, same review siya sa um, bank reconciliation pero naalay na dugang na columns for your cash receipts and cash disbursements. O yan, duha ka month gi koan, gidungan og reconciliation. Okay? So, uh, I'll be just presenting the adjusted balances method na template for your proof of cash. So, kay um, book to bank and bank to book Essentially, gikan ramang po na siya sa adjusted balance method. Okay? So, in your proof of cash for the book balance, so, of course, we start with your unadjusted book balance. And then, the first column pertains to your prior month, the previous month na reconciliation, and then your receipts, so, this is your book receipts. Kay book balance man ta. Book receipts and then this is your book disbursements. And then you will get your unadjusted book balance for the current month. Okay? So, kani siya, prior month, if you add the book receipts, if you deduct the book disbursements, you will get the current month ending balance, unadjusted ending balance. So, this is, if you could remember the formula ganina, so, na-apply na to siya, diri. Okay? That's for the first line. Next, CM. CM means credit memo. Credit memo for the prior month, of course, diri siya mabilong sa 
prior month na reconciliation. And then, for the second column, so nga nung gi-minus man ni siya kiri. Like I said earlier, the second and the third columns must only present items pertaining to your current month transaction. Okay? Current month tra. O niya, kani siya, kani credit memo from the prior month, sa prior month man na siya nahitabo. Diba? Sa prior month siya nahitabo. Pero, na-adjust ra ni mo siya on the current month. But essentially, the transaction happened in the prior month. So, although na-appeal siya diri sa receipts, dili siya current month na transaction. Okay, so, let's go to our example. Ani? This is a credit memo, right? Kani si note collected. So, January is our prior month. The note collected, the 15,000 collection in January, na-appeal siya sa 200,000. Right? Na-appeal siya sa book debits na to in February. Kay February 1 man siya gi-adjust. Okay? But the question is, unsa na month di ay ni siya nahitabo? When was the note collected? Was it in January or in February? So, di ba, it was collected in January. Maunang gi-reconcile nato siya in the January ng month. So, since sa January siya nahit nahitabo, onya, this column must only include, our cash receipts must only include February nga transaction. Onya, na-appeal man siya diri. Si 15,000, na-appeal diri sa 200,000. So, Dapat ba i-appeal si 15,000 nga January man siya nahitabo? No, right? So, di siya i-appeal. That's why you need to deduct. Okay? So, credit memos from the prior month must be deducted from your receipts. Okay. How about credit memo for the current month? So, in your current month reconciliation, that is added, of course, kay credit memo man. And then, your current month na credit memo, you ask yourself, na-appeal na ba ni siya, Diri? Kaning amount? Was this already included here? If wala pa, then you add. If na-appeal na, then you ignore. Okay, so going back again to our example, current month credit memo. Dara. Note collected February. 20,000 added in our February reconciliation. Onya, sa 200,000, was this already included? Kaninga 20,000? Appeal na ba siya sa 200,000? Sige, let's go back to our given. Book debits for February, including January CM, 15,200. So, ang appeal sa 200 is katong January na CM. Why labot si February na credit memo? Okay? So, therefore, therefore, your 20,000 must be included in your cash receipts in February. Kay February man siya nahitabo, so dapat appeal siya sa imong receipts in February. Okay? So, current month credit memos must be added to your receipts. Debit memo from the prior month. So, debit memos are deducted. No question on that. So, prior month siya nahitabo, but this was included in your disbursement. Question again. Kanusaan ni siya nahitabo? Current, prior. Prior, right? 
So, prior month siya nahitabo and then na-appeal siya diri. Dapat ba appeal siya sa current na disbursements? Dapat ba appeal? No, right? So, your prior month's disbursement must not be included in your current month's disbursement. That's why debit memos from the prior month must be deducted from your disbursements. Okay? Now, let's go to your current month's debit memo. Current month's debit memo, of course, that is deducted from your um, current month's reconciliation. And then, kanus aman siya nahitabo? Current month, right? So, current month. Onya, na-appeal na ba siya diri sa current disbursements? Wala pa. So, therefore, you need to add this amount. Okay? So, going back again from our example. Kani. NSF check for February. Deducted siya. Okay. And then, added siya on the disbursements. So, wala pa di ay labot ni si 10,000 sa 180. Sige, let's check. Your book credits of 180 only included NSF check of 5,000 and service charge of 1,000 for January. January ra. Wala na appeal ang NSF check for February. That's why in our um, proof of cash, it must be added to our current month disbursement. Okay? Na. So, credit memos of the prior month, i-remove siya sa current receipts. Current month na credit memo, added siya on our current month receipts. Prior month's debit memo, removed from your current disbursements. And then, current month's debit memo that is added to your current month disbursements. So, reminder, the second and the third column, say receipts and disbursements, must only include receipts and disbursements from the current month. That's why atong gi tang tang atong gi remove si prior month na transactions. So that is for the book balance. For the bank balance, essentially that's the same same um, principles wherein you have to remove from your current receipts um, deposits in transit of the prior month. Kani? You have to remove this kay wala man na siya nga re na receive karun na month. The transaction did not happen this month, current month. The transaction happened prior month. So, dapat wa siya labot ani sa current receipts. But your current month na deposits in transit that is added to your current month receipts. Same thing with your outstanding checks. Prior month outstanding checks are removed from your current disbursement. On ya, current month na outstanding checks must be added to your current month disbursements. So, it should only include receipts and disbursements from the current month. If naglisod na kag-memorize sa uh, add or minus, simply remember kuan ni siya ka ng opposites do attract. So, nga nung opposites do attract man? If duol silang duha, they have opposite signs. Yeah? Positive, negative. Positive, negative. Duol sila. Onya, if lagyo silang duha, 
Dara. Layo sila. Naigap. Dara. If lagyo silang duha, ang duha ka amounts, they have the same signs. Negative. Negative. Positive. Positive. Okay? So, that's also true sa book balances. Tara. Opposite. The same. The same. Opposite. Okay? Sige. So, let's try to answer this activity. Sige. Let's try to make a proof of cash out of this activity. So, Jargon Company provided the following data for their September and October um, cash records. So, the book balance for September is 1-9, question mark on October 31, cash receipts per book. Sige. Let's try to i-plot ni na to. So, I have here, tara. Proof of cash, gama ko daan o template. So, the first column is for your September na reconciliations. Second column is for your cash receipts, current month, CM. Third column, um, cash disbursements for the current month. And then, last column is for the October reconciliations. Okay? So, atong i-plot. Your book balance for September 30 is 1-9. So, September month, so, diri siya. 1-9. Okay? Cash receipts per book, 1-4. Cash receipts per book, 1-4. And then, cash disbursements per, per book, that is 2-4. So, this is 2-4. Okay? On ya, for our... Um, current month na unadjusted book balance, we simply kani plus cash receipts minus cash disbursements. So, we have unadjusted book balance of 900,000. Okay? Next, bank balance 2-1. This is our bank balance. We're still plotting the ano ha? The given data. Two one. Sige, let's ano? Let's highlight this one. Okay, this is a missing. Ha question mark man siya. Okay. Two one. Total charges in the bank statement. So charges, charges means disbursements. Total credits in the bank statement. Bank credit, that is your bank receipts. 1,200,000. Okay? So, your unadjusted bank balance for October is, so, 2,1 plus receipts minus disbursement, you have 800,000. Okay? Sige, NSF check. NSF check for September. NSF check, this is a book reconciling item. So, NSF check for September. How much was it? 60,000. NSF check, this is a debit memo. So, this is deducted. Okay? NSF check for October. Atos lang i-plot una ang reconciliation. 40,000. Okay? So, NSF check on September. Was, was it included in our cash disbursement? Ha? Was it included? So, na appeal na siya. That's why we need to remove this from our cash disbursement. 
and then NSF check NSF check for October. So this must be this is added from our or to our disbursement. Okay. Okay, next. Collection of accounts receivable not recorded by NTP corrected in subsequent months. So, collection of accounts receivable. So, kanig 30,000 na collection on September, wala siya ma-record on September. Pero pagka next month, nag-adjusting entry ka. So, pagka next month siya na record. Okay? So, corrected in subsequent months, this must be um, collection of AR September 30,000. So, if this was corrected in the subsequent or in the next month, meaning na appeal siya sa cash receipts na to na 1-4. Kanya, dapat ba appeal si 30,000? Delay. Because this 30,000 is a transaction that happened in September. Kanya, kaning cash receipts dapat current month man. Dapat October na hitabo. So, we remove 30,000. Okay? Next. 50,000 collection of AR on October. That is 50,000. And then, should we add or minus from our current month receipts? That is added. Okay. Current month man siya nahitabo. So, dapat i-appeal nato sa cash receipts. Next, overstatement of check in payment of salaries corrected in subsequent month. So, overstatement of check. Sige. Two months. Okay. Overstatement of check in September. So, overstatement, na sobraan o um, record C, si payment of salaries. Check, this is an error at sa part ni company. So, this is a book error. Therefore, ang mo reconcile ani must be our book balance. Okay? So, overstatement of check, pagka September, Sobra ang na-record na payment of salaries. So, sobra of 90,000. Kung saan man nato if sobra ang na-minus, we have to add it back. So, add 90,000 and then, kung may effect, ana, it was corrected in the subsequent month. So, what is the um, adjusting entry if mag-correct ka o overstatement of um, payment of liabilities? Diba, imong i-debit si cash and then you credit the expense or the liability ba if nag kag ka liability una. So, anyway, anyhow, ning debit ka o cash, right? So, when you debit your cash, that is considered as a book debit. So, even though wala kay na-receive na cash, but since in your adjusting entry, ning debit ka o book, therefore, na-appeal siya in your cash receipts per book. So, dapat ba appealun siya? Was it really a cash receipt? Huh? Is it a cash receipt in the month of October? Delete, no? 
So since this is not a cash receipt for the month of October, we have to remove 90,000. Okay? So again, overstatement of check for October. How much was the overstatement in October? 120,000. So i-add back na po nato si 120 and then what's the effect ana? Will it affect our receipts? Dili, no? Will it affect our disbursements? Yes, because when you record payment of salaries, mo debit ka og expense or liabilities pa if you accrued the expense, and then you will credit cash. Mo credit ka cash. Naakay book credit. So, dapat ba, um, is it really a disbursement, kaning 120? So, this is not an actual disbursement, kay nasubraan raman ka og record. Dara, overstated, uh, overstatement of check. Nasubraan ra ka record. So, this is not an actual disbursement. But, na-appeal siya sa imong disbursement na 24. So how do we go about that? Kuhaan nato si disbursement. Okay? So we add or we deduct 120 from our disbursement. Okay? So let's compute our adjusted balance. So your adjusted cash balance for September is 1960. On the other hand, your uh, adjusted cash receipts for October is 1330. And then your adjusted cash disbursements for October is 2260. And then your adjusted cash balance in October is 1,030,000. So, let's check. Is it the same? Kay dapat manggod. Vertically, kaning pa-down, okay, nagpa-down man ta, sum. Pa-down, and then, kaning going to the right, horizontally, the answer should be the same. So, September, plus receipts, minus disbursements, they're the same. One, uh, one million thirty. Okay? So, we go to our bank balance. Okay, we're done with this one. Deposit in transit. Okay? Deposit in transit for September. And then, ato na lang po di so what si uh, October as well as our outstanding checks and outstanding checks in October. Okay, so your deposit in transit September is one hundred thirty. So, that is added. How will it affect your cash receipts? So, prior month, deposit in transit must be removed from your current month receipts. Okay? Deposit in transit, current month. So, that is added in our current month reconciliation and added in the current month receipts. Outstanding check. Pre, uh, prior month, outstanding check. So, that is deducted and that is also deducted from our cash disbursements. Current month, outstanding check. So, that is deducted 
distant from our reconciliation but added to our current month disbursement. Okay, so let's check if mo balance ba ni siya. Uy, balance. 1960. How about this one? Balance po. 1330. Also the same. And this one. Also the same. So let's check again. Plus 1330 minus 2260. 1 million 30. So our proof of cash is in balance. Okay? So the same siya. The same, the same. So, that ends, ah, adjusting entries. Adjusting entries, your adjusting entries. So, you will only have to adjust your book reconciling items. So, we adjust this 40,000 NSF check. So, we debit account receivable and then we credit cash in bank. For our collected nga no uh, na account receivable, so 50,000, so cash in bank, debit, and then credit, accounts receivable. Was it accounts receivable? Okay. And then overstatement of error, kaning 120, so you debit, cash in bank, and then credit, salaries, expense to correct overstatement of salaries. That is our adjusting entries. Again ha, you only adjust your book reconciling items. Ayaw apila ug adjust si bank reconciling. O niya, careful ta, kay basin ang gipangayo, adjusting entries for September. So, magtanaw, gihapunta sa dates. If the question is adjusting entry for September, then, kani imong i-adjust. Book reconciling items, gihapon. Okay? So, that ends our, um, that ends our discussion on proof of cash. There is an activity in the Google Classroom, so I hope you will answer that. Um, we will check and discuss the answers on our next meeting. So, please don't forget to answer the activities. And then, if you have any questions or clarifications, feel free to send me a message. So, be courteous lang, especially if you are uh, messaging outside um, office hours or on saba. Okay? So, I'll try my best to answer your queries. And then, di lang kung magkuan. Mutugan ug answer sa activity. Okay? So, thank you for bearing with more than an hour of discussion about proof of cash. So, Please study well on proof of cash. Thank you.